Good morning and welcome back. This is Sarah, your Socially Awkward Seller. I'm coming with you today. I'm coming with you. I'm not coming to you today with another daily vlog. Uh, it's Monday, Monday. So it's shipping, shipping. Um, and I have about, I don't know, 10 or 12 items to ship, but I thought I would show you what sold over the weekend. It was not a bad weekend for the middle of February. I'll take it. Um, Cause it's been kind of quiet. Sorry, it's been kind of quiet here um, for the last week or so. So it was nice to have some sales. Uh, first thing is these um, Fisher Price Noah's Ark figures. I think there's about 10, 10 or so in here. I bought a big lot of these and split it up. These sold for, let me get my, tr my trusty pad out here, uh, $9 plus shipping. Of course, I charge si shipping on everything because shipping is high. And uh, I am not paying for it because every person that wants to buy something from me is in California and I am in the Midwest. So, no, thank you. Uh, this is a Temptations, um, a Temptations casserole set. It's got the uh, hot plate, like the glass plate underneath, um, plastic lid, and it's got this really pretty one, actually. Um, the wire rack. I paid just a couple bucks for this. And this sold for $19. And most of these things I either sent an offer or took an offer on. Um, because that's the way it rolls. Let's see what else I've got in here. Um, remember this little guy? Just listed him about, I don't know, a week or week, maybe two ago. Um, it's got this uh, handkerchief kind of shade. This is Party Light. Paid a couple of dollars for this maybe three or four and uh, this sold for $23.99 we talked about this coffee pot um, I better find the lid to it oh, I think it's in here. we talked about this coffee pot uh, about a month ago where I showed you how to test these and then I you know cook the cord I digress Anyway, um, this sold for $55.99. That being said, I've had this for a long time. I probably had this in the neighborhood of a year. Um, so I had to wait a while for that to sell, but it did eventually sell. Okay. Um, sold some flatware this weekend. This is Oneida Wordsworth, and uh, it's fancy. This sold for $9 plus shipping for those four forks. And then this is a pattern called Oneida Community Plantation. Looks a lot like Wordsworth, but it's different. It's the same, but different. I sold two lots of these to the same person for a total of $55.98. Don't, don't let anybody tell you that the flatware is not worth anything because it is a little. Um, it, it was kind of a parts weekend. I have several parts. Almost almost half my sales were parts or flatware. Yeah, I guess about half my sales were parts or flatware. Um, this is the lid off of a carafe for a Black & Decker Space Maker <clears throat> Optima coffee pot. This sold for $6.39. <clears throat> this is the filter basket from an espresso maker. This one is a Mr. Coffee. And this sold for $10.39. Um, this is one of those uh, Hamilton Beach double beaters. So it's made in one piece. Um, and I paid like, I think like 55, 50 cents for this or something, something ridiculous. And, uh, this sold for $15. I took a best offer. The person said, um, cause I listed it for $19.99, which is a reduced price. These can bring like 35, $40. Um, but this one was not in great shape. So I had it listed for $19.99 and a person sent me an offer and said, since it's missing that little rubber piece, would you consider a lesser price? I took a $15 offer. Um, it hasn't been listed all that long, maybe maybe a couple of weeks. 
Um, I sold this Cuisinart food processor lid and that sold for $18.39. Um, getting close to the bottom here. I think there's one back down the hallway I need to go get. I sold this on my, um, like my really vintage store. This is called an insecticide. Um, and it's just an old bug sprayer. And, um, I, you know, when I bought this, I was, I was awed by how cool it is. It's not worth that much, but I did take an offer of $8 for that. And of course they paid shipping. Of course they did. This is going overseas. Um, and this is that Rotodent, um, like toothbrush gum cleaner kind of thing that I bought the other day that was, um, basically an open box situation. Um, I listed this a few days ago for $110 and it was on sale over the weekend for $88 and I got no takers. And then this morning I received an offer of $75 and I took it because I paid $4 for this and I know it will sell for more, but it might not sell for another year. So I'll take their $75 and I will ship, the, ship it to them overseas. And let me grab the last item. Because when was I ever prepared for anything? Never. That's when. So the last thing that I sold, or the last thing I'm going to show you anyway, um, is this Nespresso that I stripped everything off of. I have sold some of the parts already. And um, this... I am selling for 19, sold for $19.99. They paid like $42 in shipping because it's going to California, which is why I don't offer free shipping ever. But anyway, uh, so I'm not looking forward to shipping this at all. Um, and it's really made me remember how much I hate shipping this kind of stuff. So lately I've just been throwing away the bases or whatever to items that I, um, part out. And I know some people will say, well, you're just throwing away money or you're filling up the landfill. Well, this is my philosophy on that. Yes, I'm throwing away money, but this is what I've learned in selling parts. One, the base is usually the last part to sell or it's way down the line. I never sell that part first. It also doesn't sell for very much and it usually takes a very long time. And this takes up more space in my inventory than the, the little parts to it. Two, I'm not filling up a landfill because the part that the the parts that they are ordering from me are keeping one that they have from going in a landfill. So that's my philosophy on that. How you like them apples? Don't know. Anyway, um, I'm sorry that was rude. I'll uh, I'll talk to myself about that later. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to get this stuff shipped and then I'm going to try and pick up a few things. Let's see if that happens. Um, until then, I will check in with you until, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I will check in with you later today and let's see if I bought anything. Stick around. I'm back. And I picked up a few things. I stopped at two thrift stores. Um, one of them a Goodwill. The other one, like a little, I mean, the Panda one. Um, it was, it's a Mennonite run one, but it's not my favorite Mennonite run one, but hey, I like the Mennonites. They got good prices. Um, so let me show you a couple of things that I picked up. Uh, picked this up at the, at the not Goodwill. It's actually called Good Life. And this is a Little Poppers, uh, schoolyard. And it is um, made by Tupperware. Uh, this does not have the little people and um, the ball. The ball is missing. I paid a dollar forty-nine for it. Um, I didn't look this up because this is one of those things that, if the um, you know if it doesn't sell for much, the grandkids will love it. And I've got actual little people that they can play with that with. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I found a, a Chilzan. This is the um, like vegetable tray that you can freeze and that keeps your stuff cold. Um, I sell these quite 
frequently. Like everyone I've ever bought, I have sold. I sell these on Amazon. And I think they bring about forty dollars. I think they actually vary in price depending on the condition. But um, I think I'll list this one for about forty. Let's see. That's nope, 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 nope. Maybe. I bought, oh, bought myself a pair of, like, lounge pants for lounging. Um, oh, I didn't know if this would be worth anything. Sorry about the noise. Uh, but she's not in great condition. But this is a Betty Boop piano ashtray got a lot of things going on um she does have a little paint loss on her and um like the glazing is not perfect on this but it is vintage and it's hand painted and um i only paid 79 cents for it so i'm pretty sure that she will do fine let's see that's for me that's for me I bought some stuff for myself, okay? Um, I also bought, uh, I must have left them upstairs, two remote controls uh, for $1.99 each. One is a Pioneer, um, and it's got an LCD screen on it, so I thought maybe it would be worth something, and I don't remember what the other one was. And I also brought, bought a um, little carafe that goes for to a Braun espresso maker, and the filter basket that, that goes with it for $1.99. And uh, I shouldn't have any problems selling those. I paid, um, bought this box of flatware here. I paid $15 for it. It is William Rogers and Oneida. And there's the pattern. It's called Spinata. And um, it's got those funky pointed tablespoons, soup spoons. Um, I looked this up. It looks like six teaspoons sold at the beginning of January for $44.99 uh, free ship. Okay, I'll do that. Um, I think there are six teaspoons in here. I'm pretty sure that there are. Uh, and then uh, there's about 31 pieces total. Um, there are four, I think four pieces of serving utensils like a sugar shell and um, a meat server, a vegetable, like a pierced server and a pierced spoon, I think. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I probably will put those serving pieces together and sell those. And then I'm going to part the rest of this out. I had considered putting it together, but I think it'll do better parted out. And um, the box, the box I'd considered selling um, two. It's got some significant scratches on the top, which I thought, mm, that's not that big a deal. Then I dropped it and cracked the corner. Um, yeah, so that'll just go in the garbage because um, I broke it. Uh, so that's uh, that's basically what I've got today. I've only sold one thing today, which, okay, it's still early. But um, that will only give me one thing to ship out tomorrow. And uh, it's one of the things I listed yesterday. And um, I will, that's a bad idea. Um, I will probably go and hit my favorite little thrift store tomorrow since I didn't go there today. Um, my hesitation is always that it's like a 25 minute drive, 20 minute drive. Then I'm there. Cause I don't, I'm not, have you, if you've ever knows, noticed about guy thrifters, Guy thrifters can go in and complete, you know, completely go through an entire store in 30 minutes. I cannot. Uh, I like to touch things and hold things and look at things and take my time and look at everything and make sure I'm looking at the top shelf and make sure I'm looking at the bottom shelf. And it takes me a long time. Um, but but it, I enjoy it, so it doesn't matter how long it takes me. So when I go there, I'm usually in that store for, and it's not big. Uh, for an hour, hour and a half, because I take my time and I'm watching for those new carts to come out. And sometimes I make a second run through, you know, the like the 
kitchenwares department. So um, that's like the hesitation. That's why I didn't go today because it took me until like 11 something to get my shipping done. And then, you know, I would have had, it would just take too long. You know, like the ex explanation that I'm doing right now is taking too long. So, um, so I might hit there tomorrow since I won't be as crunched for time. And, uh, if I do, I will show you what I got. Um, but that's all I've got for you today. I like these short and sweet videos. Um, I haven't had a rant for a while, but I feel one coming. I feel one coming. Um, anyway, just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming, keep working. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.